Here are a few definitions of angles, you know. When we use angles, we use many different terms. And let me summarize those terms here now. Let's say this is our circular path. Okay. It's not that good, but still I think it'll serve a purpose, right? Okay. Let's imagine that this is our initial arc. So that is always our starting position from x-axis. And as you know, we call this as our initial arc. Right, and as we proceed with an angle, as the angle increases, so this arm, think as if you know, we are, there are two arms here, one over the other, like clocks, right? The needles of the clock. And the other one is just moving like this, right? Which is called as the terminal arm. So let's say that position of terminal arm is here. We call this as a terminal arm. So this point is the vertex, correct? And this is the central angle, and this central angle is called theta, correct? Now in our coordinate system, of course, this central position is over the origin, okay? And there is x-axis, and this is y-axis. And then, uh, if we see the coordinate system, then we call this as coordinate one, and this is coordinate two, this is coordinate three, and this is coordinate four. Correct. Now, whenever we make an angle, we normally assume that the angle whichever we are saying is in standard position. So now, but what is this standard position? So we say angle in standard position. So let's say this theta we say is in standard position. What does it mean? It means that one of the arm is along the initial arm for an angle, okay? And whatever is the other position of the terminal angle, so from initial to terminal, it becomes standard position. For example, let's say we move this terminal arm at present angle is theta, right? If I move it more further, let's say if I go like this, this becomes my terminal. Then my standard position angle theta will be like this. Do you understand? That angle will be theta in standard position. So it is always measured counterclockwise from x-axis. Okay? So here in standard position we assume that one arm which is the initial arm which is initial arm aligns itself with x-axis. That is kind of important. And second thing what is important for us here is that the direction which is positive is counterclockwise. As I've shown here, right? So from the initial to terminal arm, counterclockwise, and it terminates on terminal arm. So counterclockwise we will start from initial arc, which is aligned with x-axis and then we get an angle theta which is called angle in standard position. Okay. Another term which we use here is related acute angle. Now Related acute angle is when the angle is actually in standard position, but related acute angle is measured from the terminal arm to the horizontal axis. So in this case, let us say the purple one is theta is your terminal arm, then the related acute angle will be this with the horizontal. So for related acute angle we assume that the angle is in standard position. So we say angle is in standard position. So we say standard position like shown above 
but the angle is measured between terminal arm so angle is between terminal arm and x axis so i'll show you i'll tell you what it means let's make an axis here separately for our related acute angle and let's say the angle is this so in this case what is the related acute angle related acute angle is this the angle between the terminal arm and the x axis that is my related acute angle okay i'll note this related acute angle by letter alpha and i'm going to use theta for my standard angle okay so my standard angle here is theta so i'll say from here to here is my standard angle theta do you understand and that is my related acute angle it's very important to find related acute angle as you can see if i extend it this angle is equal to this angle right and then we can have a relation and find our angles related to the angles in first quadrant so related acute angle will always be less than 90 degrees right so basically you say they are always less than 90 degrees correct so they are less than or maximum could be less than 90 degrees because they are with the x axis correct that is related acute angle now there is another term which we use which is called correlated acute angle okay let me write that down for you correlated acute angle now in case of correlated acute angle is actually a complement of related acute angle you can see it like that as a complement of related acute angle what i'm trying to say is let me denote that with letter beta okay So in that case, this angle beta is my correlated angle. Do you understand? In first case, correlated angle beta will be here with 90 degrees. Do you see beta will be that, and this is our alpha, the related acute angle. Okay. So correlated acute angle is complement of our related acute angle, and it is always measured with. y axis so instead of x axis we measure it with y axis so it's from y axis do you see from y axis so that is what correlated acute angle is correct so if i have to show this uh, let me make one here separately for correlated acute angle and let's say my angle this time is here in that case can you tell me what is the related acute angle Re related acute angle alpha will be here alpha and the correlated acute angle will be from y axis this one beta so that's correlated this is correlated and this is related acute angle Okay I hope you understand how to get these correlated and re related acute angles okay Now let's take an example Let us say that we'll draw here Our angle in standard position is 5 pi by 6 Okay Let's say theta equals to 5 pi by 6 now 5 pi by 6 is my angle theta in standard position in that case what is going to be my related acute angle 
and what is going to be my correlated acute angle. Okay, so let's first understand how are we going to draw this 5 pi by 6. So here the pi is divided into 6 equal parts. This is my pi from here to here, right? So this is my initial arm, okay? Now 6 parts means 3 here and 3 there. So let's say like this. 1, 2, this is 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. 6 equal parts. Now 5 pi by 6 will mean 1 pi by 6, 2 pi by 6, 3 pi by 6, 4 pi by 6, and this becomes my 5 pi by 6. So each part is pi by 6. So that is my standard angle theta 5 pi by 6. Now what is my related acute angle? Related acute angle is this angle. Okay. How much is this? This is 1 pi by 6. After 5 we got one more 6 pi by 6. So here alpha is equals to pi by 6. And how about correlated acute angle? Correlated acute angle is with y-axis so from here to here right and that angle beta can be written as equal to 1 pi by 6 2 pi by 6 do you see that 2 pi by 6 do you understand how to get it so this is how you, you get related and correlated acute angles so simple right but remember these terms and see how they are used, right? Have a good look at it, correct? Okay. So you understand, standard position is when the initial arm is along the x-axis, right? And then terminal arm is wherever, and but we see the angle counterclockwise. And theta is normally the angle is what we use for standard position. So here, in the standard position, theta will be from here to here. Do you see that? That is theta which is 5 pi by 6. Acute angle is with the horizontal. So the angle left, that is my final position. Is it okay? 5 pi by 6. So 5 pi by 6 with x-axis makes an angle of pi by 6. That is my related acute angle. And the angle between y-axis and the terminal arm is correlated acute angle, which will be 2 pi by 6. Always remember, Related and correlated angles are always positive, right? And they are less than 90 degrees, okay? Fine. And standard angle position, we always see counterclockwise as positive. Okay, I hope you remember this. We'll soon use these things. Okay, thank you.